Hello my friends, my name is LaserJet and welcome back to another one of my Hornby interesting videos. Well, they're not really interesting, but you know, I like to think they're interesting. And you guys are, are aware that last time I did one of these videos, I was reviewing my Pendolino Virgin train, which does look nice, and everything's all set up, and I just left it there overnight. A bit unwise, but you know, it's, it saves me from packing it away. But so I actually had fun doing a review on this guy. Uh, here's the box, by the way. I'm just going to put it there just so you guys know. Um, I, I, I still can't believe that this thing has lights. I mean, it's. I mean, now I know it, it actually shows lights on the box, as you guys, as you guys you can actually see it's got lights on the box. But I didn't pay any attention to it. I thought they just added that for decoration. But it doesn't say anything about having lights on it. So that was fun. So I'm just going to put the box over there. And oh, by the way, I almost forgot. I have one more train uh, unboxing video to do. And yes, I have not forgotten. I have this, uh, the Class A4 Mallard, and I think it'll be cool to actually do another unboxing video today, because then that's what I'm going to do. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to set the camera up, and, well, get ready to unbox this sucker. So yeah, as you can see, you know, here's the box, I've got the camera in a different position this time. Uh, it's not in a good position, I admit, but, you know, it's it's still a work in progress, so, um, anyway, I'm ready to, this is the first time I actually, I'm actually going to get this out of this box, I've actually had this for a few days now, and I've actually, this is the first time I'm actually getting out of this box, so I'm actually finally, I'm finally doing this, let's do it! It's a box! So, oh, it's the same old, same old principle with the uh, Virgin Pendolino, just flip this open, uh, there we go. And don't worry, uh, the box is not on the track, by the way. It's just hovering above the track, so you guys don't worry about that. Uh, here we go. Uh, where is it? Oh, I see. Okay, here we go. Ooh. Ooh, it's very heavy. Right, let's move this uh, over here. Uh, there we go. Right, there we go. Get out of the, uh, get out of the box. Let's move the box over there. There we go. Put it on my bed or something. Right. Oh, we got more track. The track looks nice. I love more. I love more track. More, more bends. More straights. More switch points. Ooh. But um, as you as you were, I'm going to get into like you know. So I'm going to start with the basics off with um, the Pullman coaches. We're going to start with them. We get two of these. And to be honest, I don't know why this was more expensive because the Pendolino was um, 160 pounds. This, for some reason is £168. So, I, I mean, I know there's not much of a difference, but I mean, this is £8 more, but still counts as this being very expensive. Well, more expensive, but I can't actually see why. I mean, you get less of it. I mean, you get the Mallard, obviously, and you get two Pullman coaches, but for the Pendolino, you get two coaches and one rolling stock and one diesel and pentagraph and they and they have lights on them so i don't know why this one was more expensive i mean i guess it's just mallard away really, because you know mallard's very popular anyway let's um get the pullman coach out Ugh. come on there we go right so here it is the moment of truth do, 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 do. I, lo I love unwrapping these things for the first time especially on the video they look nice <gasps> wow Hello, gorgeous. Look at this. It's been a while since I've actually got a new Pullman coach. And it, is it going to focus? It's not going to focus on the focus. 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 No, it won't focus. Oh, that's a shame. Oh, there we are then. Never mind. Uh, can I zoom in at all? Yeah, I can, I can zoom in. There we go. Look at that. It says Pullman. Uh, car 77. That's nice. Third class, mind you. So, for the third class, this doesn't actually look that bad. So that's the first coach obviously, so let's move that out of the way and get the second one out. Ugh. I bet the second one will look Oh no, actually, hold on. Oh, there we go. Oh, actually, they actually look different. Oh, they're actually different coaches and they have different names. That's quite cool. Can okay, I zoom in? There we go. Well, I'm not zoom in. Focus. But it is a good focus. The camera's working as a treat. But if you look, the coaches are actually different. As you guys can see that. It's nice. I think uh, this one is better, though. I do like this one, but I do also like this one. But yeah, this one just looks better. Right, let's move these coaches out onto the side. Um, oh, we've got more track. The track is nice. Right, now for the main event, the Mallard. Um, I'm going to get this out because I don't want to actually damage it because, you know, last time I... Um, well, not last time, but one time I was doing an unboxing video and I completely destroyed the train. Ugh. Come on, get up, get up. Uh, uh, uh. Oh god, okay, it's in an awkward position. Okay, here we go. Um, 
Ah, I see. If you look, um, I don't know if you if we'll focus on that, but as you can see, that the tender is completely joined on. I mean, you, there's just two screws, and they're undetachable unless you have a screwdriver. Oh well. Right, let's uh, move this out of the way. Take this bit off. Ooh. Right, anyway, this is not a very good review, is it? I have to be honest. Um, and I do apologise for the noise in the background. That's a hoover. Um, I think my sister's tied up her room or something. But, wow, look, this is the mallard. This is it. This is it. This is the A4 mallard in my hands like, once again. I mean, I did own a mallard once, but sadly that got destroyed. Not by me, of course. Um, but, look, I finally have another mallard in my hands again which is a really nice feeling. So what I'm going to do is, you can tell that the Pendolino is just over there in the top right corner, just there where my finger is. I'm going to take that off the track and I'm going to put Mallard on instead and see how well she runs. So let's get into it. So here we have Mallard on the tracks. Um, I didn't film put it on the tracks because you guys didn't want me to see me struggling because I'm not very good at re-railing trains and locos and stuff. So I'm, I'm, I don't want to show you how... It's just too embarrassing. I'm too rubbish. But I like how it says Mallard on the nameplate, which looks nice. Um, I don't know if it focus. Will it focus on, this, on, on its nameplate? Um, I don't think it will. Oh, oh god, that's made, I've made it worse. Okay, focus, 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 focus. Okay, never mind. Never mind the nameplate. But... The rest, it looks quite nice. Oh, it just, it's a nice local. I'm so glad that I actually have a mallard to actually run. The number 4468 LNER with nice red wheels. You can't really see that because, you know, it's too dark. But I might m make some modifications. I might, I might paint the wheels more redder, but I might not. But I think I'll just leave that, actually. I mean, I could, I don't know. But anyway, uh, so that looks nice. And it's actually got um, spun buffer. I don't know if it'll focus, actually. Will it focus on the buffer? No. Okay, that's, um, that's a shame. Can, can I just zoom in like this? It might focus like this. It might, I don't know. But it's got sprung buffers. So that's good. Um, and it's got a nice shiny whistle at the top, as you guys can see. But I'm just, I'm really excited. So I can't wait to actually get um, Ma the Mallard moving. If you look over there, there's my um, Pendolino, cl uh, the Class 3. Uh, what was that? I think it was a Class 3 90, I think. But there it is over there, just gathering dust now. Um, so I'm going to give Mallard a quick test run to see how well it runs. So what I'm going to do is, oh god, that is so out of focus. Okay, there we go, never mind. Right, I'll get Mallard moving. So we'll give it some power. I mean, I don't know how well this might run, so it might run well, it might not, but let's just give it a try. Here we go. Mallard, oh that's backwards, that's backwards. Right, put it forwards. Mallard is a go. Ooh, that's running really nice, actually. And it's actually very quiet, which is quite nice. So I could run this when everyone's asleep, so that's quite nice. Oh, it's so nice to have an A4 in my collection. I and mean, I've got a few collections now, but having, a, having, sorry, having an A4 is something really special. I mean, for those of you who have Hornby, you have to own an A4. Don't ask why. It's just the law. You have to own an A4. Don't ask why. You just do. You have to. Right, I think we should bring Mallard to a stop quick. Like so. There we are. And I think we should now add the Pullman coaches. I, I, I'll actually film myself putting them on because, you know, why not? I want to show you guys how bad I am. Oh, actually, you know that... Oh, that, that, that actually went on quite well. There we go, that's quite nice. And add the second one. But I, but then it got me thinking, what's the point of owning two Pullman coaches when I have another two over here? Um, I've actually had these for quite a long time, actually. I think I've had these for about four years. So, you know, they're quite old. But if you look at the roof, this one's actually more... Oh, move my uh, camera strap out of the way. Sorry, guys. Um, if you look, it's got it's got more shiny and more... Well, it's just more shinier on the roof. But this one, it's just pure white. So I don't know which one's better. The pure white one or the nice shiny one. I mean, I, I do like the shiny one. But I think the white one looks more new, I think. I, I don't know. So I'm going to quickly put these guys on and we'll couple Mallard up. Mallard up, sorry. Right, so Mallard is now coupled up with four Pullman coaches, which looks really nice. So anyway, let's give Mallard the power she needs to make this run. So, without further ado, Mallard, you have permission to leave. Oh, that's backwards. I always get confused which one's backwards and which one's forwards. It's ridiculous. Right, um, anyway, all let it focus first. Focus, 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 always focus. 
There we go. No. Right. Volvort. That wasn't a very smooth start, but never mind. That is just the most beautiful thing I've ever seen in such a long time. An A4 pulling some Pullman coaches. It's very nice. Look, look at that! That's so cool! I mean... I don't know what to say. I mean, I'm just speechless of how cool this actually is. I'm not very good with a camera, I admit. But, you know, I'm still learning. I'm still, I'm still a learner. But if I had to be honest now, I can see why why the Malad was more expensive. I, now I know why it was more expensive. It's nicer to own. Because if, you, if you're a Hornby enthusiast, you've got to own an A4. I know I've said that before, but you just got to. You just have to. I think Mallard could go faster if it wanted to. And I think she does. Let's give her some more speed. There we go. More speed, more good. More power, more fun. Ooh! It's just a really cool thing to own. Just a nice Hornby train set is really nice to own. And because I've got more track for Mallard, I can actually make my track more bigger if I wanted to. But I think I think I might do that. Yeah, no, I have to do that. I'm going to make my train set look more bigger. So that's what I'm going to do. That's what I'm going to do with the extra bit of track. So that is nice. And I've still got two Hornby train sets, sorry, uh, over there. I've still got this one, and I've still got this one. They're not the same, by the way. I'm just letting you guys know. So I still have these two guys that I need to, I need to put together. But I still have the... This, this is actually the Pendolino Virgin Trains uh, track. And Mallard's is somewhere over there. I don't know. But all I can say is, is I've got a lot of track and a lot of good engines now. So I'm actually going to build this up to... I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to build it and make it bigger. So you guys have nothing to worry about. But just look at Mallard. Look at she... Look at her go. I mean, I've played Mallard in Train Simulator a lot. But having it in Hornby Collection is nicer. Because it doesn't keep stopping or losing steam. It just keeps going. And that's what an A4 should do! Well, my friends, I think I'm going to leave it here for today. I'm going to give Mollard just a little stop, actually. Actually, let's, let's, let's stop Mollard, because I want to have a really nice shot of her when I end this amazing video. Oh, that was a perfect stop as well. Anyway, guys, thank you so much for watching this, this amazing um, episode of my Hornby collection. Uh, don't forget to subscribe. Follow me on Twitter, Instagram, and Twitch. All the links are in the description. And if you want me to do more Hornby stuff, let me know in the comments below and which engine would you like me to review next or which engine would you like me to get. But that's all the unboxing done for now. I've had a good time. Guys, thank you all so much for watching. Have a good day. Day, and I'll see you all next time. Goodbye.